Welcome to St Andrew's Catholic Primary School. Our school has just over 600 students from prep to year six. Upon arrival, you will be greeted with the word Ubuntu. Ubuntu is an African philosophy meaning we are who we are because of each other. As we begin our virtual tour, you will notice the MJR mosaic seat outside our administration building. MJR stands for Making Jesus Real. We focus on demonstrating this in our day-to-day -day relationships with one another. This MJR way of life forms a big part of our school culture. In essence, it is about looking after each other and establishing right and true relationships. In the administration building, you will find our directors of the first impressions. They are the people who are on the other end of the phone line when you ring through. They are able to answer your enrolment questions along with any other queries you may have about school life at St Andrews. Continuing our tour, we find the newest renovated building in our school. It currently houses our Year 3 students. There are four learning spaces here and you will notice that each of them are separated by glass sliding doors. The layout of each cohort space has been designed to cater for the Thornburg model of pedagogy, which includes the concept of a campfire, waterhole and cave. Each learning space is designed to allow two class groups to come together in a campfire. This is where students are given direct instruction by a teacher and then able to move into their watering holes, group work, for social learning amongst their peers. These water holes allow for real conversations about the direct instruction and deepen understanding of concepts taught. Teachers may then ask students to move into a cave scenario where they individually reflect and make meaning of what they have learnt. The learning spaces throughout the school allow for this flexible movement according to the learning that is required at different stages of the learning cycle. Furniture rather than desks are light in nature or on casters so that they can be rearranged easily to suit learning experiences. We have endeavoured to create learning spaces so that the whole cohort are able to gather in a campfire when needed. Breakout spaces are also included so students can work in small groups with a school officer, class teacher or co-teacher. A co-teacher works across two year levels to support the teaching of literacy and numeracy. The co-teachers plan and implement learning to small groups or the whole class when required. These breakout spaces are used for guided reading and writing groups, as well as a collaborative space to work on set tasks. We will head down the path now towards the prep building. There are four class learning spaces as well as a large teaching area that joins these four learning spaces. This is used for students to gather as a prep cohort. It's a space for their year six buddies to come and work with them and is also used as a breakout space for the class groups. Again, a space that needs to be flexible in nature for its multiple uses. We then enter the class learning spaces each of which are equipped with an Apple TV. Teachers are able to present learning to children from their iPads directly to the screens. You will see Apple TVs in all learning spaces across the school and in some breakout rooms as well. All students, including the preps, follow the Australian curriculum. Learning stems from a play-based philosophy with regular movement breaks and transitions. Heading outdoors, we enter the Early Years Playground. This area is brand new and specifically for prep and year one students. The new structures feature a sensory walk, revamped sand pit and a water pump, along with some new equipment that supports gross motor development. It's a fantastic, 
interactive and exciting place for these students to spend their break time. Bordering onto this area is the Year 1 precinct. Four class learning spaces are housed within two buildings, with an outdoor learning space connecting the two. The children eat in this space, have their cohort meetings here, and also use it as a breakout space for working in small groups with school officers. Other times throughout the year, they spend time with parent volunteers here. Onwards we travel and arrive at the school library. All students visit the library throughout the week and borrow books to take home. Chess is an extracurricular activity that is offered and conducted by an expert in the library. Not far from the library is this building where the offices of our learning support team and guidance counsellor are based. Even though this is their base, they spend much of their week in class learning spaces, working with children as well as planning and supporting teachers to make adjustments for students who require learning support or extension to cater for individual needs. Here you see the outside school hours care building or OSH we have on site. OSH are run by Catholic Early Ed Care, not by the school. The contact details for OSH can be found on our school website if you have specific questions. We now arrive at the Year 2 building, known as Tugulawa, meaning Place of the Heart. Inside the learning space, four learning groups and two breakout spaces are catered for. You will notice that markings have been painted on the concrete floor outside for children to be actively engaged. The school has a tuck shop that runs on a Tuesday and Thursday. The tuck shop is run by a convener but relies upon parents volunteering. A great opportunity to meet other parents and establish some friendships within the school community. Our Year 4 and 5 cohorts are based in this two-storey building. The Year 4s are across the top level and the Year 5s in the lower level. Both floors are replicas of each other and can each house four learning groups. Despite being upstairs, they have a lovely outlook from their balconies, making them a great semi-outdoor space for them to enjoy a change of scenery, fresh air and relax with some quiet reading or other activities. Down the stairs from here is our Year 6 cohort building, our Senior Leaders. This is another fantastically diverse yet practical layout. Our leaders love it here. They gather in their campfire spaces often to discuss their responsibilities and duties as leaders of our school. The variety of options for seating across all year levels allows students to choose their workspace according to individual preference and suitability. They are encouraged to select productive work buddies as part of their ownership within their collaborative learning space. Years 4, 5 and 6 students enter into a leased one-to-one -one iPad program. This allows the students to have access to information readily and enables them to develop IT skills required for high school and beyond. We now find ourselves at the Big Shed, or Kerabee, as it is also known. Kerabee means a gathering place, and this is exactly what we do in here for assemblies, school masses, liturgies and other occasions. It is one of the spaces in our school that can fit all staff, students and parents, which is important to us as we gather as a school family. Parents are invited to share in morning assemblies and all celebrations with us when they are able. Physical education also happens in the big shed as it is a well shaded area for the summer months. Our oval is also used for PE at different times throughout the year. Students have lessons with the PE specialist each week. There are opportunities for students to further their sporting abilities through selections to regional and state levels in areas such as swimming, athletics and cross-country events. 
Upon leaving the big shed, we now head down the Carism Walk that was constructed to mark our 30th anniversary. You will see on each post there is a word representing the Benedictine values. St Andrew is the patron saint of our school. Another wonderful gathering space here at St Andrews is our school hall, the Nicola McGovern Centre, which is used for a multitude of purposes. It is used for year level masses and liturgies, incursions, dancing, parent information sessions and large group activities. High on the wall is our school culture cross. This cross has been designed to feature aspects of our school culture. These include MJR, being Ubuntu people, and Zooties. Zooties is our special greeting where we send our goodness to each other. Below our school hall is the Arts Precinct. Here you will find our visual arts specialist. The students from years one to six visit here once a week. The older students also make use of their iPads in this space and participate in creative digital tasks. The space next door is used by our specialist music teacher. All students take part in weekly music lessons. Additionally, the music teacher runs a junior and senior choir before school. The choirs lead the singing during whole school masses, perform at the school fair, perform each semester for parents, and participate in the Queensland Catholic School Music Festival each year. Also, in this creative precinct, we have two instrumental music teachers. These lessons are extracurricular options. One of these teachers manages the junior and senior band who also participate in the music festival each year and rehearse before school. The other teacher instructs the strings and guitar program. The oval is used by our students during the lunch playtimes. It is very well used during our school fair. Each year level presents a dance and parents are able to view from the hillside and Knox Hill Grandstand. This day is a highlight in our school calendar as all our families come together as a community for a day of fun and to support the school in its fundraising endeavours. Our Community Association, or PNF as you may know it, is very active and we encourage all parents to get involved where they can as this reflects our Ubuntu spirit. At the end of each year, we hold an extravaganza event, which is a celebration of the year we have had. The students perform a song as a cohort, providing families another opportunity to gather together in a joy-filled way. That completes our virtual tour. We hope you have enjoyed the experience and you are impressed with what you have seen. We are certainly very proud of our school community and value the way that everyone in it works together to make it the great place that it is. Enrolment applications are to be completed online via our website. If you have any questions you would like answered, please make a phone call to our directors of the First Impressions. And finally, a big Zooties to you.